Hey everyone, so today your task is to create your own video game music using Online Sequencer, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But before we do, I wanna give you a quick introduction to what 8-bit music is. I'm sure you've heard it before, but maybe you didn't know it was called that. So I posted a playlist here of all kinds of 8-bit video game music. And you may re uh, recognize some of these classic songs here. So this is Kirby, and it's a certain sound that they had when they programmed music for video games. Usually it's something pretty upbeat, has a drum beat in there, and then a certain, um, like some sort of melody going on. And I'm going to show you how to create that here in a sec. So let's listen to some classic examples here. So here's Zelda. If you listen really closely, you hear a snare drum being played, and then you have some sort of melody going on up in the top. Let's see what else we have here. There's all kinds of examples here. Oh, here's another Zelda one. There's the drums. Some sort of cool groove going on. Okay, ooh, Ninja Turtles. Fast drum beat, cool little melody going on up at the top. There are hundreds of examples in here, 252 uh, to be exact. So you can go through and, uh, ooh, Donkey Kong Country. Listen to these. Oh, here's Super Mario. So there's tons of examples here you can go through. Listen to a few so you get the sound of what 8-bit music sounds like. So here's the online sequencer and I posted a template there for you. There's two instruments that we're gonna use really. We're gonna use our classic percussion 8-bit drum kit. We're gonna create a drum beat. Then I'm gonna show you how you can use these 8-bit electronic melody instruments here to add some melody up on top. So I'm gonna start with the drum kit. Um, so I go to the 8-bit drum kit here, I call this 8-bit jam, and so here's my drum set. So I'm going to start with two instruments. I'm going to start with a kick, and I'm going to start with a snare drum. So there's two snare drums I can use and the kick. If I start there, I can create a cool drum beat. Now see these big dark lines? These are our musical measures. So at the beginning of each measure, I'm going to add a kick. So let's hear what that sounds like. And unless I enter something into the next measure, it's just going to keep repeating. So I have something in measure one and measure two. Measure three, I have nothing, so it's going to end right there. So it's going to repeat. I'm going to add on the first beat and the last beat of the measure. Let's listen to that. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding... I like that one. One and two. So I'm thinking patterns here. I want to keep the same pattern. Okay, um, I'm add a hi-hat now. I'm gonna add it to all of them. The hi-hat is the little symbol, looks like a little pancake that a drummer would play. I'm gonna add these all in here. Again, I'm thinking of patterns here. In fact, I'm gonna change the grid to one out of four, so now, You know what I'm going to do? I want to change this. I like this. I'm going to have a fast hi-hat being played. There we go. Yeah, I like that groove a little bit better. Okay, so I have a drum beat and you can enter, you know, all I'll change it up. 
Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's my drum, but you can experiment with it. Oh, you have another snare drum. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to create melodies now. So we're, there's four different melodies that you can use. The sign. Right, so maybe you want a little scary music. Okay, uh, say I don't want that. Say you want to use, actually, let's keep that. Let's keep the sign. I'm gonna create a cool, I'm gonna do a really high melody. I'm just kind of doing random stuff here. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, I like it. Now let's try the other one, the square. Listen to this one. Okay. I'm gonna do more of a pattern here with this one. Listen to this. <laughs> That's kind of crazy here, but well, you get the idea. Let's listen to the sawtooth, 8-bit sawtooth. Ooh, I'm gonna do a low one. And then the final one, the triangle. That one goes pretty low. And here, watch this. I can make the note longer, so it's gonna hold out longer. Now these, these are different instruments, even though it's on the same note, it's a different instrument that's still gonna be played at the same time. We need to have a bass in there. Oops, I'm gonna make that longer. Okay, I'm just keeping this little pattern going. Again, patterns, the ear likes patterns. Let's listen to this. Like Mario's going to the haunted house or something. Okay. So I created my piece. It doesn't have to be that complicated. You could just do a simple drum beat and some sort of melody instrument up at the top, okay? That's all your task is for today, to save it, because on Thursday, you are going to submit this song. I just wanna give you the full time just to create one, okay? Remember to save it though, okay? So I'm gonna go up, because it's not gonna save. Go to save, and there is my link. Now you need to figure out how to save it. I recommend, Clicking on this link. In fact, I recommend creating your own account. Uh, you, you could totally do that. Uh, but if you don't want to create one, go to that link, copy it, and put it like in a uh, Google Note. You could put it in a, a you know a Google Doc or some some way to save it. Don't submit it yet. Okay, that's right now is not the time to submit it. You're going to do that on Thursday. So make sure you save it. Save it somewhere. Okay. And then uh, Thursday, all your only task is to submit your song. Okay, so take the time. All you need is a drum beat and some sort of melody up on top. Again, you don't have to be that complicated. Okay, so uh, have fun with that. And let me know if you have any questions.